Okay, we're back here live at uh, IBM Edge here in Las Vegas. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the event, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, joined my co-host from Wikibon.org. His name is Dave Vellante is here. <laughs> Thanks, John. Uh, Nancy Pearson is here in the Cube, and Nancy's the vice president of marketing for Pure Expert Integrated Systems. Nancy, welcome back to the Cube. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. So we heard some stats this morning and. In the main tent about uh, momentum around Pure, so that's good. Why don't you give us an update? Sure. Well, um, we've been busy this last year. As you know, we just actually had our first year anniversary in April of uh, our new Pure Systems line. Right. And um, we talked about over 4,000 systems sold um, at that time, and then we obviously we continue to sell uh, around the world and in growth markets and um, all kinds of exciting uh, new clients and um, customer examples and success. Um, we also, um, you know, have over 200 references, um, both uh, business partner as well as client references, and we're still making progress on really building out the ecosystem. So, um, you know, that means that we've got um, more business partner patterns as part of our ecosystem. Uh, the number's about 380 now, and then we're also continuing to produce um, IBM patterns that really helped our clients to accelerate and. Uh, accelerate business value and speed of deployment of new applications. Um, so we've got a lot of good stuff going on. Can you explain the pattern thing? Because a lot of folks might not put that together. It's like, what is the pattern? Is it a? What is the purpose? But explain real quick what a pattern is, real quick. Well, a pattern really codifies um, experience, knowledge, um, previous um, implementation, um, intelligence, and. Um, capability from thousands and thousands of clients, right? And we codify that um, and build it into a pattern and have these patterns available around specific workloads. Use case meets technology. Right, but... yes. Okay, use good. case meets technology, but again, it's not just one use case. It's from thousands yeah. of implementations. So yeah. you're really getting the best yeah. Um, of a number of deployments of our technical teams out there with Great. clients. And, and I think that's what's really powerful about this. And that's what our clients like because it takes them a tremendous amount of time to yield that same knowledge and expertise on their own. And it's unique in the industry. Um, yes. Uh, it's still unique in the industry. I always ask, you know, whenever, wherever I go, you know, we, where are you with <laughs> the equivalent of patterns? And, you know, there's bits and pieces out there. And even, even at the start of it, you guys, you know, it was immature a year ago, but you now you've got 380 plus, you know, 180 of your own. I mean, that's pretty substantial. Well, it's important yeah. to get it defined out there just so people can get that use to the term because also, David, highlights the openness thing. So one of the things we've been talking about is the collaboration piece, which a lot of people use that word as kind of a punch. Oh, yeah, well, collaboration's important. But with open source, people look for contribution. They and do. Contribution's a big deal. What code are you contributing? What what do you bring it's to the table? It's what open source is really about. I mean, yeah. that's what defines open source, is that everyone can contribute. The best yeah. the best ideas are the ones that flourish. The yeah. expertise, the, sharing, the knowledge, the, the sharing. sharing. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. You know, we have so a number of aspects to um, the ecosystem as it relates to the Peer Systems family. So first of all, we've got a number of partners that actually sell, provide services, and you know, um, deliver our peer systems to clients and work with them on whether it's integration services as well as other um, software services. Um, so that's one set of types of partners that we have with this ecosystem. And then we just talked about ISVs, and um, in particular, we're talking about patterns and application focus, you know, speed. Um, of deployment of applications and leveraging expertise from you know hundreds of, of our own client engagements as well as um, our, our business partners' engagements and their expertise. And then we're also um, you know really finding great success with MSPs, uh, managed service providers, and that's a different again another different type of a relationship. Um, they love um, our peer systems because again they can very easily you know they're interested in delivering services themselves. And so um, they find that our pure, pure flex system in particular, um, and also they're able to um, use pure application system to really deploy their application services as a service. Is it mid-sized folks? Is it just the, the large customers? Is it, is it kind of mixed? It's a combination. So in the mid-range, in the mid -range, um, we're talking about MSPs. Uh, it's very quick adoption there. Mm -hmm. um, that's a heavy focus of ours. And then obviously in the enterprise and a wide variety of types of businesses um, in enterprise. A lot, a tremendous amount of cloud deployments. 
um, all different flavors of cloud, um, hybrid, you know, delivering services, as I just talk about, talked about. Um, so a lot of our, our clients are embracing so cloud this. Here at this event, we just announced um, backup and disaster recovery for uh, PureFlex and Flex system. And then we, in May, um, announced disaster recovery capabilities for the Pure application system. And this is a big deal. You know, this was something that um, you know, we were intending to deliver and, and you know, delivered this year, but it was a request uh, and a lot of interest from our clients, as you can imagine. Yeah, right? really So important. this makes a very solid environment for them from a disaster recovery, a backup perspective, um, and then consistency in terms of execution and management. So what does that entail? It's replication software, it's... it's yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All, all the above. Expected. All of the above. How right. about application environments? That's the big, we talked about workloads earlier. What are you kind of environments you guys supporting in, in across the realm of things? Obviously, um, whether um, which is SAP, a lot of open source. Can you guys, is there any one areas that are popping out of you guys in terms of that's the, the, the hot area? Well, we, in fact, here talked about a number of um, reference architectures and we will be delivering some patterns around SAP. So. Uh, a lot of focus here on um, SAP capabilities um, and support. Like I said, both from a reference architecture perspective. I saw some slides on the mainstream uh, tent about HANA. Yes. How does that all play into this HANA thing? Are you guys active in with HANA at all? Or? Yes, so we just announced um, the capability for the business suite in HANA. Was that, that must have been you guys yeah. up on yes, stage? Yes, that was today. Oh, yes. Okay, got it. All right, cool. Uh, you know, whether it's Pure Flex or Pure App, what our clients are trying to do is, first of all, there's still an IT efficiency and effectiveness um, mission and goal, right? But the other thing is they're really trying to deploy applications and new workloads faster uh, and, with, and deliver them with greater consistency. Um, we're addressing problems that our clients have um, in terms of you know, IT, new IT projects. Um, and in this environment, you know, with social, mobile, cloud, big data and analytics, there's a tremendous amount of pressure on IT to deliver new capabilities faster. And these new capabilities around these nexus of forces are a lot more complex. And so um, peer systems in general are a, a really welcome solution to being able to address this type of an environment um, with a, a more streamlined, simpler solution um, that really is built for cloud and to address these other things. We, you know, we've got a new mobile pattern, we've got a new collaboration pattern, you're gonna see us continue to focus on business solutions um, in, in this space. That's a lot about what this year is about. Well, uh, you know, I think for, um, you know, every, I think everyone is clamoring for um, something that's a little easier to manage um, and implement. Um, I think that the complexity is starting to really um, negatively impact the ability for our clients and even partners to be able to address. But you have good results. You're showing high performance, good results on all levels, all the report card. Yeah. So the integrated model's working. Yes. So it's can you share some metrics with us? What are your clients seeing? I mean, even rough numbers of magnitude. Um, well, you know, they're able to deliver um, applications, um, you know, upwards of 30% faster. I think you've seen those numbers before. Um, they're able to um, analyze more data 10 times faster. Um, these are significant increases for business. I mean, think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 30%, 10%, 50% improvements in cost, um, you know, associated with some of the capabilities around um, analyzing big data and uh, doing analytics. So I think that these are pretty significant numbers that are out there. In fact, we just um, completed a number of IDC white papers, small papers. One is about cloud and the other one's about IT efficiency. And when I read them, the numbers of improvements, which I just cited, um, are amazing. And so they're in these papers, third party, you know, validated, and have very specific clients that are willing to speak to these results. So um, they are out there um, or can be accessed, um, you know, through our website. But I definitely um, am seeing now, have really turned the corner this year on delivering these results. And that those you're white papers about. are on the Pure Systems website or what, what site? Which um, one within the IBM? I would check the Pure Systems um, website. Got it, okay. I will I will check and see too if okay. they um, have been released or if there's some other way to get at them. And you guys can follow up. But um, I was really excited to see this because um, you know that means that 
you know, there's really validation for this now. The momentum is really picked up because our clients are now deployed these systems and they're able to really reap some of the benefits and confirm. So um, Andy Monshaw on Pure Flex and Flex System, mm -hmm. um, working with Marie Week, who is the uh, general manager of, um, you know, our, inf our AIM organization, our WebSphere organization, uh, and with Bob Picciano over the data space. So it's really a collaboration across those general managers um, across the business, really that deliver <coughs> on the capabilities with our peer systems family. So they work very closely together. The development teams, you know, are integrated, highly integrated. Um, and you see this commitment and a very strong focus, you know, focus on increased marketplace penetration, the commitments that we've made to the ecosystem, to patterns, to built-in expertise, and to simplicity. You're going to see us continuing to evolve that and improve and improve over time, our ability to deliver every one of the value propositions that we um, have advocated for this family. Well, the thing that I'm so impressed with here at Edge, not only is the size, you know, and clearly they set out to make this a, an expanded um, aperture in terms of the event and the content, um, but, you know, just incredible leadership and an integrated story across IBM. You know, it's not just about hardware. If you've listened to the presentations, uh, here today, there's a lot of discussion about software, and it's really the marriage of our capabilities around hardware and software. Pure is a terrific example of, you know, highly integrated approach there, but even across the board, more broadly than that, even around some of our other systems. Integration's a theme, the future. Integration's and a theme. open, collaborative. Open, collaborative. Yeah and integration, uh, hardware and software, and our, cl and our clients. The client stories have been outstanding. Excellent, Nancy.